Jimmy, you're new to Minnesota. I've never been. What are we getting into? Oh, uh, a little outdoorsy stuff, you know, get familiar with this territory that I'm going to be in. All right, I think it starts with uh, an outfit. <laughs> this outfit? It's a cute hat. I don't know if my head's going to fit in this thing, actually. You do have a big head, they say. No, it's the hair. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know which way this goes. It's not going as planned. Woo! My swag is crazy right now. Oh. We good. It's good? All right, I think we want one of these, too, because I don't. <laughs> yeah, get a life preserver on oh, this yeah. guy. Oh, yeah, no, I need both of these. Yeah. <laughs> I can't swim. Right, left, right. Oh, left, right. You good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Are there sharks out here? Uh, I don't think so. OK, ah! now just sit down. <laughs> Yo, this is not happening right now. We did it. We got to start paddling, paddle. Well, are you helping? Yeah, I'm helping. Go left, go left. This water is cold. I don't think that that makes sense. I think I should go this way. No, if you do that, we'll go straight. Just to keep going. We're turning. Can't you see we're turning? Look, I'm making sure that we're being stagnant. See? Well, I told you. are going backwards, dude. Yeah, but you're going that way, so it's making us turn. Is Trust this, me, is this honestly me. how you're going to leave the wolves? So you're the new guy in town. How's life as the new guy? I feel like we got a, a really young team and everybody's down to listen and learn. I'm one of the, the older guys now. Right, 28, you're entering your prime. Your work ethic is legendary. You're not the kind of player teams make available. Why do you think they, they made you available? Uh, I probably went about a lot of things the wrong way. People don't work as hard as I do and they don't expect the same things out of the game that I do. Uh, and that, that's my fault, and I've learned from that. And I said from the beginning, it was either going to be me or the, the Fred Hoiberg route. And rightfully so, they took Fred. Good for them. I got that game marked on my calendar. February 9th, baby, I'm back. All right. We're here. We did it. That was a lot harder than I thought it would be because somebody didn't pull their weight. <laughs> yes, I did. Whatever, bro. Ugh. Get him! Get him! I'm hot! I'm mad! You set me up! All right. You all dry? Oh, I'm good to go, man. All right. Stand I and put your hands up and hold the inside, then I'm going to bolt it down to the ground. All right, and then what? I just you got to sit this part on your head. It's on my head. OK, now put your arms out. Well, you gotta make it stand, though, man. Get out the middle. <laughs> what do you mean? You gotta bring this, come this way. Boom! This is your second co go around with Coach Tibbs. What's what's different? What's different? Um, I think he's really he's really added the the people aspect of it. Now he's coming in, he's laughing, he's joking around a little bit. He's asking, um, you know, hey, how's your wife? How are your kids? Like. That's a, that's a big part of this thing because you got to understand basketball is not the most important thing in my life. And I think that he's starting to realize that. Sounds like your relationship with Tibbs has really evolved. How was it in the early days? Be honest. Oh, I wouldn't lie to you. Couldn't stand him. <laughs> um, I never used the word hate, but he was right there. Like if hate was here, oh, he was right there on my list because he never played me, and I wanted to play. And then finally my time presented itself, and uh, I got to play, and I started to get a little bit of, what's up, Jimmy? I was like, oh, Tiz just spoke to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving up. I saw this on TV. Yeah, I got this. You're not blowing hard, you're blowing the sparks away. I Come think back. we have a lighter. Something's happening. Yeah. It's starting to turn up in here. What are your expectations for this team this year? To win. I want to win a championship. That's the only reason why I play this game. Now, with that being said, this organization hasn't been in the playoffs in 13 years. But uh, in order to get there, to win a championship, you got to do all the little things right. You guys have a big three, they say. The Warriors have the Hamptons five. Do you just read the damn internet <laughs> to say that that's what they say? I'm just say? telling you what the, the consensus is. How can you or anybody possibly unseat them this season? They can be beaten. It's hard to do. Don't get me wrong. It is very, very, very hard to do. But I'm not selling ourselves short. I'm excited to see where my team, our team, this city, this organization end up at, man. I really am.